guys. Uh, I thought I would, <laughs> I thought I would um, work on this. This is um, a friend of mine asked me to, ask me or I volunteered. I don't know. It was so long ago. <laughs> I've had her jacket for almost a year, I think. She wanted me to do a specific design on the back of her jacket. I think it was last summer because I thought, well, she won't need the jacket again till fall. Well, of course, fall came and went. Um, but her birthday's in April, so I was kind of hoping I could get this done and send it to her. Um, she doesn't live that far away, but I hate to drive, so I'd rather mail something. Anyway, I started it and immediately messed it up. So I've got to figure out a way to unmess it up. And I think I know how I'm gonna do it. Let me show you the design. So this is pretty much a rough draft of the design. She wants um, compass with the south ring brought down just to give the, give the design some weight, I guess, at the bottom. She wants draw fast, fall hard here some stars over here because this is a Bruce Springsteen thing and I don't really listen to much Bruce Springsteen but I think it has I think it's Western Stars or something is the name of the album or something so anyway I got this um, stencil to use and I immediately just copied the whole thing but I didn't want the S to be here I wanted the S to be down here can you see this? <laughs> so I have the S up here and I wanted to drag it down here. The W is gonna be bigger than this. She wants the West to be accentuated and then some stars around it. Um, but I put it inside the circle. What I think I'm gonna end up doing is just coloring the circle in something else. I'm not even sure about the colors yet, but um, I'm trying to find something that'll work on this. The, I got those new pens, the Artex, and they're um, acrylic markers and it says they're good for fabric. So I figured these would be a good choice. I, I forget what I started with. It could have been Posca. I tried a couple of, I haven't tried this one yet, but I don't even know if this is, it says permanent. I tried the permafake, it didn't really work. This is working okay if I do a couple of layers. Uh, I don't know. So anyway, that's the journey we're on right now. So I just thought I would record myself trying to fix this. And um, we'll see. Yeah, so I originally tried um, doing this outline circle with orange, but it still, as you can see, it didn't cover the um, the letter that I was trying to cover up. So then I thought, oh, I'll just do it in white and then I'll, I'll paint a different color over it. So I was actually thinking of doing orange, but colors changed. So I ended up um, doing this yellow instead. I thought I would work on this again. I am, um, it's dry now. <laughs> I was looking through <clears throat> uh, my old messages with the person I'm doing this for and thinking that I had taken this jacket from her like last spring. So like um, maybe spring of 2022. I looked at the messages and I had it in the fall of 2021. And I'm getting it done for her birthday this year. It feels so awful. Oh my God. Anyway, so I'm gonna work on this again today. And that's it. So I ended up doing, um, filling in these spaces with a white just because it would give it a more opaque kind of light background to put paint on top of so I wouldn't have to go over and over and over again with the same color. All right, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot to record. I didn't do much. I just started doing the, there's cat hair everywhere. Um, the middle part orange. I think what I'm gonna do is maybe orange and yellow maybe blue I just 
did all this and it wasn't recording there's something I, I set the the phone to record and then I place it and somehow it always switches to time-lapse so everything I did just wasn't recorded so anyway I guess what I did was this morning <laughs> as I did this line I did the W I did the stars and I did the words which I decided to just freehand because um, it just would have been awful trying to do it any other way so so that's what's done so far I'm kind of playing with the idea of doing glow in the dark <laughs> for the stars that might be kind of cool and maybe the W I don't know maybe we'll see see what it looks like it's um it's fabric paint so it'll work but the stars anyway that would be kind of cool I don't know what color I think uh, yeah, we'll see. Anyway, that's what I'm playing with. Oh, well, maybe I'll do it now. I'll try that while it's recording. <laughs> it's all the noise, buddy. I'm just wondering what colors I should use. I don't want to leave this white. I want to do color over the top of it. I'm thinking yellow. But I did this with actual white paint, so I think I have to do a little more, like, here. Maybe I'll do that, and then I'll do it in yellow. Like, there's yellow here, so I could do yellow here. And maybe I could do these in orange? I don't know. Because I want you to be able to see it. I could do the lighter orange. Around. So, the first round I did with the stars, I did it with a paintbrush, and it was excruciatingly slow. <laughs> so, the next time I used this little, like, dot tool, and I just plop the um, paint down and push it around into the right spot and it worked very well. Look, it glows in the dark. So when I started to color in the um, lettering down here, I chose the wrong marker by mistake. And I was like, oh, maybe I'll leave it like light on one side and dark on the other. But I was able to just color over the darker one with the light one. So now it's all one color. And let's see, I think once I finished the yellow, it ended up looking a bit um, uneven. So I went around with white again here and uh, to sort of fill in the spots where I thought it needed it. I think it's done. It looks, I know it looks a bit weird because this isn't the same color, but she kind of wanted that to stand out. So hopefully she won't hate it. <laughs> um, So I'm gonna mail that, I don't know. I'll probably mail it um, on, in a week. I'll mail it next week. This is the lesson if you ever want me to make anything for you, don't ask me to do it because it takes me forever. And I will often mess it up. I had a friend who had her, I don't know, it was, it was like a marriage certificate but it was from the church and she's, it wasn't filled out, but it was signed. She wanted me to do her and her husband's names in calligraphy. And I said, yeah, I can do that. It took me forever. And I messed it up. <laughs> and <laughs> the uh, by the time I got it back to her, the priest had died, so she couldn't get it re-signed or whatever it was, but she didn't seem too mad. I was like, oh my God, I was devastated. And then my cousin had asked me, Geez, I don't know how long it took. It was three or four years. Three years, I think. She said, can you do a picture of my cat for me? Her cat had died. I said, um, yeah, I'll give it a try. Three years later, I finally did it. <laughs> and this took me uh, two years, about. So that's the moral of the story. Anyway, so it's done. I'm going to mail it out. Okay, just wanted to do a brief intro. This is going to be something I mail along with the jacket to my friend. Um, 
it's just a little sign. I saw a uh, something you could get online, like a sign or something, and I and I and I was thinking, oh, I should get it for her. And I went, oh, I can make one. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna paint this, and then I'm gonna do some lettering like that, and um, I guess you'll see what it says in a little while. <laughs> So I, I saw this sign in a catalog or something and um, decided to make one for her because she loves to dance and lately she's been doing a lot of dancing in her kitchen <laughs> um, and making videos for Facebook. So I thought she would like this. Well, um, I hope you enjoyed watching this and uh, I appreciate you watching and see you next time. Thanks. Bye. Bye.